What's up, folks? It's your boy, Paul McKay, One Voice. Tune your mind. Now, I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back finally. Thanks for being patient. Now, a lot of you have been asking, how do you actually perform riffs and runs in actual songs? All right, because on this channel, you're getting all this practice going back and forth on this pentatonic scale that I talk about so much. So we have, ah, 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 or one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, or so, la, do, re, mi, re, do, la, so. Now that's cool, but Paul, when do you actually do it in a song? And where do you put this stuff? Now the question you're asking is actually related to improvisation. And it's a tricky kind of topic to deal with. So what you gotta learn is the code behind the song. You remember The Matrix? It was a series of films produced around the early 2000s. The main character, Neo, was special because of his unique way of seeing the world. Everyone else saw landscapes and people and kitty cats, but he saw code. That was the way he saw the world and it gave him exceptional abilities just because of how he saw the world. I'm trying to take you there to the point that you look at songs and you see the code behind the songs. Now, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna break the songs down into do, re, mi's. Now, I know you know what do, re, mi's are because I talked about it in our previous videos. So check this out, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. It's a well-known song. I chose it because it's easy. It's a nursery rhyme. Everyone knows it. Do, do, sol, sol, la, la, sol. Fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. And ladies, you can do that an octave higher. Do, do, sol, sol, la, la, sol. Fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. You see that? That's the code. So once you get this and you realize that riffs and runs are really just mi, re, do, la, sol, you can start putting it into the melody of songs, okay? This is how it'll work for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Anywhere you see a me, here's one, and here's one, you can transfer in that riff, mi, re, do, la, sol. Or, how I wonder what you are. Or since there are two me's back to back, you can try, wonder what you are. Now the cool thing about it all, any song, can be broken up into do, re, mi's. That includes any song that's popular now uh, and any song that was popular last year, all right? Trust me, it can be broken up into do, re, mi's and wherever you find a mi, you can do that riff. Mi, re, do, la, sol. See what I mean? Anywhere you find a mi in any song, you can put, theoretically, that same riff in there. Ah. Now there's a bit of complexity added with words because interesting things happen with words that have more than two or three syllables. But theoretically, that's how it works. If you don't get this, maybe it went a little bit over your head. I'm doing Skype sessions this summer, okay? $55 a session. You can meet me on Skype. My Skype name's showing up right down there. I want you to cut and paste the URL to this video in your Skype invite, okay? Just so I can recognize what it's about and who you are. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Chill on your mind. Thanks for watching, everyone.